the medical mandate for the, for the nurses and the doctors, this is, what they're trying to do is absolutely insane. There are places, now in Florida, we provided protections. So nurses were rehired, all these people, many of them have natural immunity. And so that, but there's a crunch on the staffing because you have obviously a lot more COVID nationwide, and then you have staff that get out sick with it. So what have they done? In other states, they have fired nurses for not having vax, even though most of them have natural immunity. So they fire them, but now they're shorthanded. So what are they doing? They are bringing back on the job vaccinated nurses who are co currently COVID positive. So if you're unvaccinated, naturally immune and uninfected, you're, they fire you. But if you're COVID positive and vax, which we know most of the people that are COVID positive now are vax, they are going back on the job. Um, and it just shows you that CMS mandate is absolutely insane, especially given the ineffectiveness you know, of, of these shots to actually stop transmission uh, between individuals. And so I'm hoping that they will get real on this. Uh, I, I am surprised, I mean, I think the arguments went fine, but to not have ruled by now. So what happened was they didn't do an administrative stay. So technically this OSHA rule is now in effect. Uh, and so you've actually had Florida businesses that have sent out notices. And I just wanna be clear to everybody, you know, our law is in effect that protects people. Uh, so there, you have to honor religious exemptions. You have to honor all those things. So nothing changes with our law. And OSHA says you have to test people who, who haven't been vaxxed. But our law says if you're testing, that's at the business's expense. That is not at the employee's expense. Right. So that's Florida law. We're gonna make sure that that, is, uh, that that is enforced and we're gonna make sure we're providing protections for people uh, so that they don't have their livelihoods ruined by an unconstitutional and really ham-handed federal mandate. We were expecting a decision from the Supreme Court this morning. It did not come. And so who knows uh, when that's gonna end up happening. But clearly we can see in front of our eyes, the ineffectiveness uh, of what Biden's trying to do, because you see unprecedented amount uh, of people getting, getting this Omicron, and of course, most of them you know, have been vaccinated. So it's not stopping the spread like they claimed, and there's no basis to be able to deny someone their, that personal choice or their job based on it. So let's get this, hopefully the Supreme Court gets it right, um, because we really need to move forward and we've got to stop using this as a weapon uh, to wield against other people who are making choices that they think, you know, are, are, are right for them. Um, so we're disappointed today that we didn't get that decision and hopefully we'll get a decision very, very soon. Okay, happy to take some questions. All right, we'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>